First of all, I love the look. Why? Uh, <laughs> what's the significance of the hat? Is that just something on stage? Or? It's just, uh, you know, when I first came out doing the blues, I just wanted to have something that people would remember. Right, about. right, right. And uh, so, got the hat. The, got the Mad Hat or Magic Hat. Absolutely. And uh, you work it. It looks great. Thank you so it much. Fits. Uh, really fantastic voice. Uh, Thank really, you. really special sound. Oh. How long you guys been doing this for? For about eight years now. Yeah, they with this group of people eight mm -hmm. years, yeah. And uh, how long have you personally been singing? Since I was about four. Charter, uh, starting church, I'm gonna absolutely. I'm gonna guess. Yeah, right. In Brooklyn? Yes. What part of Brooklyn? Clinton Hill, Fort Greene. Okay. Pratt Institute area. So now were, were your mother a singer? Your father a singer? My, my mother was a singer. Right. Uh, she sang with Mahalia Jackson, Harry Belafonte. Wow. Quincy Jones, Dion Warwick. Uh, Rosetta Thorp, she was in the Hall Johnson Singers. Man. Her mother's 91. Well, that's so been serious, yeah. serious stuff there. Yeah. Okay. My father didn't have any rhythm. No, really? No. So she, she, <laughs> carried, she carried it for everybody. Right. And then, so you got that from her. Yes, sir. Thank God. Now, do you have brothers Which, and sisters who got no rhythm? <laughs> uh, well, the sisters that I did have, they're deceased now, two of my sisters. They were... Oh, I'm sorry. Um, they sang, my older sister was one of the first black models of the Ford Modern Ages. Oh, no kidding. Back in the day. So okay, you guys over. had interesting stuff going on. Was, yeah. your, was your mother, uh, when she sang, was she a baritone? My mother was a soprano. Really? Yes. Wow, see, it, it's just, uh, you know, I don't know a lot about singing. <laughs> I know that your voice is I'm a the most baritone. unique right. and yeah. amazing sounding Thank voice you. I've heard. Uh, is it... Is it hard to find music when that that fits your voice? You know, it, it because it is unconventional. Well, sound. the blues is a great way to start. Like you were saying, like a song of the whole I'm in, it's a blues song, blues title. Yeah. I mean, this you know, uh, everything sounds yeah. perfect when you sing it. But well, I mean, I'm, I'm you, sorry, I, when you're growing up, well, I, I said, mean, it's like man, my voice sounds different than yeah, other kids' uh, voices. Well, growing up, my idol was Barry White. Yeah, oh, yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> go figure. And, yeah. um, you know, I, you know, growing up, I knew I had this deep voice and I couldn't really relate to other female singers. Uh -huh. So I gravitated towards like Barry White, Isaac Hayes, yeah. the Isley Brothers, wow. you know, like that. Yeah, for a woman to gravitate towards Isaac Hayes, man, that's a special voice. Yeah. And then you, uh, you put, so did you write the song, like the whole, I mean, did you write that? We all collectively lyrics and yes, music and, yes uh, yeah yeah well, i would think yeah that would that's with a, with a voice like that in a town like that i'd gravitate towards maybe writing my own blues tunes or yeah. covering do you cover a lot of blues songs uh we cover a few not right. not a lot of blues songs but you know we try to stay as original all the time that's great. you know and we throw in a couple of gems right you know <laughs> but we we want people to know us as the original music band do you still you go know. back to go back to church and sing? Every once in a yeah. while. Yes, I do. It must be fun. It is a lot of fun. Uh, you know, Artie's a huge fan of the band, uh, and Levon. Yes. Helm. Levon Helm. Yeah. And they, you know, you guys opened and played with Levon yes. for what, not like ninety? Ninety seven. Ninety seven. Yes. Times. Wow. And, and Levon had all kinds of great things to say about you. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's gotta be a thrill and BB King. Yes. I mean, when BB when BB King comes out and says that you're an incredibly talented uh, woman, I mean that's that's got to. What uh, yeah? What years did you open for the band? Uh, for Leave on Hell, we started in. Like I said Leave on. Well, so Leave on after after five, right? after the band Leave on Solo. Yeah, you yeah, yeah. Leave on Solo but at his midnight ramble oh, sessions. Oh, out in Woodstock. Yes, sir. Oh, I got a friend of mine lived next to Leave on and offered me to go one night, and I couldn't make it because I had a gig. I had some stupid comedy gig in like North Carolina, and I couldn't make it that night. And I, I, you guys were probably playing with him. It was like, it was like oh sixes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, oh God, I would have loved to have seen. He used to do these. At his farm in Woodstock, New York, Levon would do these Saturday night midnight jams in the barn, and he'd play, and you know people like you would go. It must have sounded amazing. Amazing. Yeah. With this band, I couldn't go wrong. <laughs> right. I can't go wrong, man. That sounds great. You know? so are you guys on the road a lot? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we are, What's... and it's it's really cool to be in New York City. <laughs> <laughs> you know, this is like really a joy, right? Hey, you're now. home. You're yes, home. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Where do you live um, year round? Brooklyn. Are you still in Brooklyn? But you're on yes. the road so much that you feel like. Yeah, uh, it's, it's crazy. 
Well, uh, I'm thankful. You know, I know that. You got to be thankful. I'm, mm -hmm. I'm a comic, and I, I still, you know, besides this job, I still do the roads. I got to pay some bills out there, and, you know, uh, I can relate. I've been doing it a long time, but, uh, you know, the road, if you do it the right way, can be a lot of fun. <laughs> if not, it can kill you, but, you know. For sure. Uh, for, uh, you know, as a comic, it's so easy compared to what you guys do. I just have a microphone, and hopefully my shirt's clean, and I go on stage. You guys got to... You know, you, you got to make these uh, instruments to come alive and and bring them and and, uh, and singing and keeping your voice proper and I have a much respect for what you guys do and Thank uh, you the so work much. work ethic that goes behind you. Know, you just to sh get up there and sound like you guys do. It's a lot of work. Thank so, you. So uh, come back anytime, guys. I, 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 I we'd appreciate it. You know, we, we'd love exactly. to hear it. And um, oh, where can we see you next? Want to plug a gig? What do you got going? On? Um, we're going to Portland, Maine. Portland, Maine. Uh, town Saturday this time of year it's beautiful one long yeah. fellow Very square tall. yeah okay mm -hmm. and you have a uh, have a website or something you do all that social media uh, stuff alexispsuda.com alexispsuda.com yes. they can figure out yes. some stuff from there yes sir. Uh, okay well uh, much luck guys same travels out there keep Sorry. keep making a joyful noise as they say a beautiful noise and uh, come back anytime thank you so uh, much right, again the Alexis P. Suda band alexispsudaband.com and we'll be back after these words the Artie Lang Show, weeknights on audience, only on DirecTV.